How's it going? Uh, I'm going to talk really quick about quick create forms. You might be wondering what is a quick create form? How does that work? Uh, quick create forms in CRM are different than regular forms. Right now I'm looking at a list of accounts. If I hit the new button, I'm going to get taken to the default form for the account. This is the main information form that's going to give me all of the fields for the account, including the post, activities, notes, and it's a little bit busy. There's a lot of stuff to fill out. Um, and it doesn't really allow me to quickly enter in the information that might be the baseline of what's relevant to create an account in the system. We do have a plus button up here, and from there I could create an account using what's called the quick create form. This drop down slide form that comes down with three columns is called the quick create form. You can turn this on for an entity, uh, for any type of entity in CRM, using the checkbox here that says allow quick create. You can also edit that form underneath the form section. There's a quick create form for every entity that has had quick create turned on at some point. If I turn quick create off for the account, the form will still stay here. And if I turn it back on later, it'll use that form uh, when it gets re-enabled at a later time. And so the quick create form has three columns. And you have to keep in mind if you have certain information or fields that you've created for, for new records or for record types that you have in the system, you need to put those fields on both forms if users are expected to enter them in the quick create section. Uh, you can remove fields that are required. Um, after you make them unrequired, you can take them off the form and then you can make them required. And you can definitely get into a situation where some fields are required on the main form that aren't required in quick create. So that's kind of wordy what I just said there. Just make sure that if it's required information, you put it in both places on the main form and the quick create form. And really quickly, I'll show you, no pun intended, uh, how you can create um, records pretty quickly with the quick create form. So I'm creating a new account, it's called test. I do have number of employees required from an earlier video. It'll be one, two, three, four, I hit save. I could view that account or I could create another. I could call this test two and um, number of employees. Let's put down that many and hit save. And I could create another account. And you get the idea. I can very quickly create lots of accounts this way. I can also do this with leads um, or contacts. This is very good if I'm working at a trade show or you know I have some downtime about the field selling or I'm in this customer service industry and I need to put down some tickets really quick. Or I'm going through a list of emails that have been sent in by clients with problem issues and I want to create cases very quickly. Uh, I could use the quick create form for those two. So new case, could put down the issue, put in the required information, hit save, hit new case, put down the information, hit save, new case. You can see how this pattern repeats itself. So very, very efficient, very handy way to kind of declutter the screen especially for users that need a simplified way to enter in lots of information pretty quickly. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions about quick create forms, forms in general, entities, or other CRM related questions, put those in the comments below. Let me know if you're enjoying the videos. Give me your feedback. Um, thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll keep these coming. Have a